Hi, it's Mary Magdalene to Michelle Bird's song. We're telling the truth here. Edwin Bird's on my first husband used to say, writers are spies. And then somewhere in my writing it said I was snitching on heaven. I don't care about those labels. I'm supposed to tell the truth. I have the creator's eyes. Dylan is the creator, Bob Dylan. And um, he's a lord of the angels. I'm an angel, the sweetest angel. And he gave me his eyes. And uh, I'm supposed to tell him what I see. Okay, he's Einstein, by the way. I also have his right hand. So when I write, the truth comes out. And I've known this. I've been doing this for four years. I didn't know it was Bob Dylan's right hand. But I knew it was the creator's right hand. I didn't know Bob Dylan was a creator. His brother, who was my brother, told me, the guru, that um, spirituality is about establishing a relationship with your creator so you'll have some place to go. And uh, otherwise, you'll just be a rolling stone <laughs> gathering no moss, right? And, um, and then showing your gratitude. So I have done all this research for years and years and years, and I have found that uh, the bottom line is Bob Dylan uh, saw me in heaven and um, wanted to touch me. I was a star, and <clears throat> so finally he willed a creation so he could touch me, and we could touch each other, really. And that was great. We just came to the earth. He will bodies and fingers for us to touch and all that. Uh, the hell broke loose when Adam, Michael Bublé, and Lilith, Adam's first wife, which you don't hear about, you only hear about Eve. But they don't, she didn't even do what they said she did. And it messed her up that they smeared her reputation. Um, they said Mary Magdalene and uh, Jesus Christ and um, the Sikh gurus, Bob Dylan is a Sikh guru, he's also a Shaolin monk. Uh, so they have been protecting Mary Magdalene. Yeah. So they're telling uh, her that uh, she has a right to tell the truth. And that's what she does. All right, so let me show you some of the words I decoded. I was pleasuring D U Y L A N Dylan tickling er established true C true Eve Dylan grew all. Oh. Okay, let me show you this. This is the name of Jesus Christ who is being reborn to Mary Magdalene. Uh, and I explained why in the previous video. I was listening to Bob Dylan, the creator, create on uh, his uh, guitar. And um, I was feeling it and I succumbed, you know, I came, succumbed and, and conceived a baby. And uh, the baby's name is um, Jesus Christ was his name. Now his name is Ian Gruel. And um, Bob Dylan was playing the song Every Grain of Sand, which the grains of sand uh, manifested orgasms. Every orgasm turns into a grain of sand. And that is why um, uh, Bob Dylan is authentic because he's playing a grain of sand about orgasm, and he's giving his lady an orgasm with a song, right? How authentic is that? And so I just realized that. So I want to show you this. This is Ian, I-A-N-E-N-G-R-E-W-A-L, Gruel. And then G-R-A-I-N, a grain of sand. <laughs> See? There it is. All right, what else? And then he says, lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Okay, brass decoded. B for Bob, Dylan, 
or from mother, bottom up. A, as her secret, as her Santa. Bob's mother, A, I guess that first mother, is a secret Santa. When I was in India with the, the master being trained at the school of mysticism, I call the Dara, and uh, school of wizardry is, is a double for that uh, Harry Potter thing. The real deal is where Jesus Christ was at the Dara, Baba Jamal Singh. And um, he said, uh, let's see, let's see. oh, he said to me, he said to the group, I didn't know, I thought he was talking to everybody. He was really talking to me. He said, why not want a lot of money so you can help a lot of people? So, you know, this blew my mind. How does he know I want a lot of money? I wanted money to give to my mother because she didn't want me. She tried to kill me, she tried to abort me, yet she worked and, and took care of me. So I wanted to show my gratitude just as I want to show my gratitude to my creator, Bob Dylan, you know. I don't know how I can do that yet. All I can just tell the truth. But anyway, so I was a secret Santa, and he knew it, because he was Santa. I figured that out later. He looked just like Santa, and he was Santa. That's how he knew. I was his wife. I was also his wife, just as Jesus Christ was talking about, when I was Mary Magdalene, and he was Jesus Christ. And he was, uh, when I was Freud, he was the distinguished physician Joseph Brewer, uh, Freud's mentor and colleague. See? And then in India, he was Freud's, uh, Mary Magdalene's master, and she was his disciple. Yeah. But he knew who I was. I wonder why they gave me access to everything that was so nice to me. And I had Darshan with him privately. And I thought nothing of it. It's because I was his wife. They don't tell you things. They don't want to tell me things. I have to figure them out. Uh, that's because Govinda Singh, my brother, and uh, Dylan's brother, our brother, is uh, the architect of uh, Heaven on Earth. He's B.F. Skinner, the behavioral psychologist, in addition to being a guru, in addition to being uh, General Eisenhower, and... Um, all these other people he was, um, it's a samurai soldier Paul, who projected himself as Paul McCartney. It was uh, Paul Simon, projected himself as Dean Martin, uh, Frank Zappa, Frankie Valley, Michael Bolton, uh, Bobby Hadfield, Barry White, Luther Vandross. Isn't this incredible? This is Corinda Singh was all these people. Uh, and they pleasured me when I was growing up. I was unwanted uh, by my family. I was unwanted by white people that had uh, things on the bus colored in rear. No colored people can eat here. I was a little colored girl. Then the black people didn't like me, some of them, because of my light skin. So I wasn't a fit anywhere except the little church had about six members. Uh, Brother Wright. Uh, was a kind man uh, of the father in my life and his wife and Joni. She was a missionary. So now they uh, were good and uh, they uh, believed that if you're good you die and go to heaven. So they died and came into my life, into my womb. As a matter of fact, Bob Dylan put him in my womb. He put uh, Brother Wright in my womb, that sing bird song. See, and um, uh, Edwin and I had written a song, when a newborn baby's born, the world gets one more chance. Okay, and so uh, Bob Dylan uh, put that baby in my womb. Uh, at one point, I was just sparing because I'm Venus and I need love and I had no love because my uncle, Brother Wright, died. I didn't know he was my son, was Brother Wright, you know, and um, so I was, I was, uh, I had no re I was depressed, and I took pills to die, and seeing the baby that uh, Bob Dylan put in my baby, that, in my uterus, that we had 
a prophesy, I sing birds, I'll save my life. He came to my apartment, saw that I, so that's the, saw that I was, um, I had od and saw the empty the pill bottle and all that. So, you know, he got me to Bellevue and they popped my stomach. The point is, um, the world 